how many of you have like tried looking up on a web for free illustrations or icons and sort of stuff and how many of you have, like find it very difficult or in fact have a dilemma whether if i use this particular illustration in my presentation or documentation you know it has copyright issues and all stuff right anyone here who is like okay no no i have i have not faced this so exactly so next talk is actually uh, around that so so we all know that finding the perfect illustration is hard because of the license uh, licensing fee copyright and restrictions and also the customizations that uh, already available things uh, they don't let us do it so to talk tackle this problem obvious designed an extensive open source library or of uh, illustrations depicting the characters and environment and element that represents the india and we have uh, siddika sagal here who's a communic uh, who's a communication and sales lead at obvious and she'll be talking about uh, the library that they have built and the talk is going to be on illustrations for the subcontinent so please give a warm welcome to siddika what do you Hi, good morning. Uh, am I audible at the back? Okay. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, just a quick kind of warm up. Uh, how many developers here? Okay. Uh, how many designers in the house? Okay. Uh, uh, not not a very large number. Uh, and anyone who doesn't fall into either of these categories? <laughs> okay. So we have a couple here. um he stolen my warm up questions but i'll still kind of go through them um raise your hand if you relate to this illustration here um there's a banner uh do you kind of resonate with it okay um we'll do another one do you resonate with this all right so these are from the first one that you saw was from google pay's singapore app the one that you see here is from google pay's india app and there is a reason for them to use different illustrations for different countries that's because illustrations give users relevant visual cues i've done a lot of work writing micro copy for mobile apps and web apps and every time that i've kind of you know tested screens with users the takeaway is that they are not reading the text um they are looking at uh, the visuals they are looking at the illustrations to kind of figure out what it is that they need to do and there is a lack of illustrations in the indian context if you look at illustration libraries online you will mostly find people with lighter skin you will find people wearing western clothes and these little details really add up um that's why we created subcontinental um illustrations are really powerful um the right illustration tells you that this app is for you the right illustration tells you what to do uh the right illustration makes your landing page your social media creative your mobile app 10 times more relevant and um we are a product design agency uh we've been working for the last 10 years and we've built about 120 mobile or web apps and we've kind of faced this in our work uh when we tried to go out and find illustrations that we could use for some of our projects we didn't find any um and uh, that's where subcontinental kind of started so when we actually started doing research for subcontinental we looked at photographs um and we found that we couldn't create one indian man and one indian woman um across the country people look different people dress differently people uh, accessorize differently so we created avatars for all the states all the indian states um and we also kind of covered uh, different ethnicities so you'll see a punjabi man and a punjabi woman you'll see a muslim man and a muslim woman um we created a couple of avatars around professions as well uh, so here are some urban men and urban women you'll see a construction worker a lawyer uh, you will see a teacher you will see a student um once we created avatars we uh, wanted them to be plug and play we took inspiration from pablo stanley who's another famous illustrator so what he essentially did was he built on top of like figma's components uh, which allows you to 
So you don't have to kind of change it all the time. You just scroll down uh, on the sidebar. And if you can play the video, um, you'll see what I mean. So you'll see, um, you can change how her hands are, uh, you can change the hairstyle, um, you can even change expressions, uh, you can change clothes, accessories, pretty much everything. Uh, you can make her look amazed, angry, confused, sad. Um, so we built this into uh, Subcontinental. After that, we started thinking about where these avatars would be used, uh, and we created a couple of environments for them. So here are a couple of rural environments. We created a couple of urban environments as well. And everything you see here is, again, plug and play. Uh, so you see that Neel Kamal chair in, in, the hospital, um, in the hospital room. If you want to remove that, just kind of pull it out of the, drag it out of the illustration. If you want to uh, shift the lamp in the second illustration, totally possible. Um, so that's, that's essentially um, how Subcontinental works. We open sourced it, but before I kind of answer why we did that, uh, here's another question. Um, have you gotten tripped up by licensing and purchasing policies when you've looked for illustrations online? Yeah, it, it, it happens to a lot of us. And companies that are larger can hire illustrators uh, to kind of create the perfect illustration. But that leaves small businesses, that leaves entrepreneurs, that leaves companies of one out of kind of, uh, you know, options. Um, Subcontinental introduced like much needed diversity in the illustration kind of landscape. And it didn't make sense for us to gatekeep it. We also wanted to open source it because it allows for a lot more contribution. We have, we have avatars and environments today, but subcontinental could be a lot more. And we, we would love for other people to contribute uh, as well. Um, the team behind subcontinental is uh, Chippy, Mani, and Sarun. Uh, they are all product designers, and they also worked at, as illustrators. They've since kind of moved on from obvious. Uh, but Subcontinental was interestingly created in just two weeks. Uh, they were all on a client project which was getting over and they had two weeks uh, before the next one started. So they kind of picked this up and uh, yeah, that's how Subcontinental was, was born. Subcontinental is available on Figma community. Uh, you can search for it and open the file, duplicate it, and whenever you're using something from uh, the library, just attribute us. Um, that's, yeah, that brings me to the end. I'm happy to take any questions uh, if people have. Yeah, I see one at the back. Um, Uh, since you mentioned attribution, what is the license that is being used by uh, Subcontinental? Yes, that's the Creative Commons license. Okay, that way you Thank can. You. Yeah. Uh, do you have guidelines for contributing? Uh, actually, so far, no. <laughs> but find me after this, and uh, we can uh, we can chat about that. Cool. Yeah. There's another question here. Um. Um, has there been more thought put into introducing a much more diverse set of skin tones? Because I see it as still being fairly <laughs> fast skinned. Um, I think that didn't get covered in the video, but we do have, uh, like, skin tones can be changed. Okay. Uh, so it's a full range, uh, and we don't have that, like, hideous yellow that you see in like thumbs up emojis everywhere. But yeah, we, I think we have four skin tones in subcontinental. Any other questions? Cool. I, sorry? No, no animations. These are all static uh, illustrations. <laughs>
All right, I think uh, I've kind of covered this under time. Uh, I, will, I will leave you to the next one. Uh, thank you so much, everyone.